Baby, I'm the gamble of your life Why you always gotta think twice? We could go at it all night Till the morning till you can't even go no more Jimmy will just walk us through your uh, <laughs> afternoon again How you found out you might be going Yeah, so I was watching the pregame for the Chiefs uh, Houston game And uh, heard some breaking news that Brian uh, was sick So got in my car and got down here as soon as I could To, to check out what was going on And uh, you know, it was something that you know, it's been going around and I had you know, the same kind of like stomach virus and that thing's awful. Like I know what it's like on that thing. Like you can't, you can't function. Like, so, uh, you know, I got it, you know, through my head pretty quick that, you know, I have to be ready for, uh, for this ball game. And, uh, you know, it was a fun one to be a part of. Uh, and uh, yeah, so you step in and, you know, give it, give it all I got. How much did it help playing next to Billy? A ton, Billy's great. Uh, you know, we're kind of on the same, you know, wavelength as far as, you know, how to communicate on the ball, uh, you know, without overdoing it and, you know, kind of tipping tipping your hand to the defense. Um, and uh, just he's a very composed guy. And I think that goes for really the whole offense. I mean, there's just a great amount of composure. And, uh, and you know, that's contagious. You know, you look around, everyone's confident. And you're confident. You know, it's just a cohesion. And you're just going to go out there and you're going to do it. You know, and if you don't get it done, we go back to the sideline and figure out something to get it done. You know, and that's kind of been, this is, you know, the first game, full, full game that I've been able to play, but just being around this team, watching this team, has kind of been the, the MO of, you know, all the games that I've been here is finding a way to get things done. So you found out from someone with the team that Brian was sick, or how, how did you find out that Brian was sick? Well, initially, it was the report that when it broke on, on TV, well, he was questionable with an illness, so. So what goes through your mind? Do you verify it with anyone on the team? You just go I just got in my car and just came in. Yeah. <laughs> so I figured I just could go straight to the source, see what was going on. How do you explain <laughs> playing a full game, Jared, being out as long as you were, and diving in and practicing for a few weeks? Yeah, I mean, I think that I've had good time to prepare. Uh, you know, my body felt like it was in shape. Um, you know, I didn't feel tired, didn't feel like I was, you know, starting to, you know, lose it out there, uh, you know, in the second half or anything. And, uh, yeah, it felt, felt good. How so hard is you saw it on TV. Who actually gave you the official work done? Like, when did you find out you were definitely starting out? You weren't just thinking about it. It was going to be a go. Probably uh, when we came in after pregame warm-up, with like 20 minutes to go, probably. Did you get any anxious, anxiety going on at that point? No, because that's, I mean, that's that doesn't help in that situation. And and I'm lucky enough where I've played in, you know, this kind of same situation, not not the situation having to step in and play, but, you know, I've, I've played in the divisional round of the playoffs and, uh, you know, I've just played a lot of games in general to just know the kind of mindset you got to go in with and, you know, getting all antsy and everything, That's that just doesn't help. Is that oh. difficult to go from you're not, maybe not playing a single snap behind Brian to you're playing every single snap just like that? Is that a difficult mental transition? Uh, not really. Uh, you, I mean, kind of take each week as, you know, knowing that I have to be able to go out there and, and fill in at any second. I mean, it could be 0% of the plays, it could be 100% of the plays. Today it was 100% of the plays, and that just kind of comes with being the, the swing guy. Jared, I know obviously unique circumstances all together today. Is this kind of the reason, though, when you think about that decision to come back, these kind of moments to, to be back out there? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's the kind of you, you never get that the, the feeling of, you know, a, a good team win, and especially you know in the playoffs, you know such a meaningful win. Uh, you can't find that outside getting on the field and actually doing it. So how'd you do it? Um, you've been here for very long. I'm sure Brian took all the reps all week. So how did you get yourself ready? I'm lucky enough to go up against some good pass rushers on scout team. Okay. <laughs> I take those rush. I take those reps seriously. Like uh, going up against uh, Preston, Zedarius, uh, and, and Fac, and, and Rashawn. Like those those guys are all. They're, they're four different kind of rushers. And I see all of them during the course of the week. And, uh, you know, I just take those reps extremely seriously because uh, those are, you know, my preparation for the game. How'd you think he did? I know it looked like um, maybe Coney Beach inside early in the game, but I'm not sure that I noticed you at all otherwise, which is probably a good thing. Yeah, and that, dude, that, dude, that dude's just a tough dude when you're going as hard as you can to the right and he decides to knife in. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, uh, you know, yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure the tape. There'll be some some stuff that's good, some stuff that's ugly, uh, stuff to clean up. You know, that's kind of how it always is. And especially, you know, first full game back. I'm sure there's there's plenty of guess, just stuff to to learn from and, and move forward with. Baby, I'm the gamble of your life.
Why you always gotta think twice? We could go at it all night Set them on till you can't even go no more You like it, don't even deny it 